Well, our second annual Gravel and Grinds event was a definite hit. We had uh, 25 different adventure and dual sport riders that day. It was absolutely beautiful. It was hosted here by Ray Mungenest at uh, the Classic Bike Headquarters. If you are on Route 66, heading on a trip or something, coming through St. Louis, make sure to stop in if you love old motorcycles. This is a fantastic museum, um, pristine-looking bikes, hours and hours of stuff to look at, um, knowledgeable staff, super helpful, um, really friendly with us, allowed us to come in uh, and visit this. Uh, we had some donuts, we had some bagels, we had coffee, and we had a lot of laughs. Max O'Connor. Oh, Max O'Connor. Guys, we have a fantastic group with us. It just keeps going and going and going and going. We got 25 total riders today, so fantastic. We're 30 miles in to 140 mile ride. Gonna stop here in about 30 minutes, grab some lunch at uh, Bourbon Cafe and Coffee or Coffee and Cafe, one of those. So join us next time. So one of my goals when we're doing uh, beginner ADV rides or what I call easy easy gravel rides is to make sure that there isn't anything technical because a lot of these people are brand new. They're unfamiliar with the weight of their bike. They're unfamiliar with going over obstacles. And so we, rerun, we run every route that we do at least um, two weeks, if not a week before the event. And we actually ride in this route last, uh, last Sunday, uh, you know, five days, uh, six days prior to the event, and this was not here. So this, this was a surprise. <laughs> Baller right here, boy. Let's go, come on. Oh my God, I can't believe it. Look at his tires. Oh yeah. Yes. <laughs> Woo! Half of us, 12, um, actually uh, went ahead and got across it, and the other 13 uh, went around and met us up for lunch uh, in, in Bourbon, Missouri. Well, we could not have planned it any better just as we were finishing up and arriving into Bourbon, getting ready to get some gas, lo and behold, the other half shows up. I mean, no more than 45 seconds from when we did, so it was perfect timing. And I do want to give a special thanks out to uh, Greg for helping actually put this whole thing together and arranging it, uh, getting us connected with Ray Mungenest. I also need to make a quick shout out to two others. First off, Tony, thank you, man. I always know when you show up that someone's going to have my back, that they're going to be there to make sure that they're on the comms with me, letting me know what's going on, making sure no one gets behind, no one gets left. Thank you. You are always appreciated, and I'm always happy when you show up. And the second person that I've got to thank recently is MJ. He's been coming out with his camera and taking some phenomenal shots like the CBR going across. Um, last three or four videos you'll notice I've had some really good photos and or uh, video content. Um, MJ, you're a phenomenal action photographer. Thank you for the time and effort that you put into coming out and helping as well. And lastly... Uh, I love getting out stickers, and today on this ride, I got to give out two. You were that guy. One for flat tire, which this is the second year running now. Uh, we've had a flat tire. And the other one is for a foot peg that fell off near the end of the ride, zip-tied and buckled on. Hey, thanks for coming out, everyone. Looking forward to the next one.